Welcome back, everybody. It is time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And look who it is. Mary <laughs> Hours is joining us for this one because you truly love this game. I love this game. Whenever I was on maternity leave, I was watching it every single day and playing along. It was like my way to kind of be involved. It was fantastic. So now Dr. Lori, she's joining <laughs> us. And the theme this week is mid-century modern. But, but you have a whole bunch of stuff on your table right now, a lot of glass. A lot of glass, and some of it is mid-century modern, too, Ooh. particularly the crackle glass. That's these pieces that look like they're cracked, uh -huh. but they're really very popular from the 1960s. And yes, we're so happy Mary's joining us. This uh -huh. is so much fun, and a lot of people tell me that they play along at home and how well they do with their family. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I'm a little rusty, but I'm ready to oh, be no, no. I, in fact, Dr. Lori, I was going to say, I'm a little nervous because Mary's really good at this. Oh. All right, so we're going to see. We're going to we see go. who wins today. Uh, and we're going to start with a doll. This is a doll sent in by Amy. So tell us about the doll. So the doll is made by the Knickerbocker Toy Company. And it's a plush doll, but it has a vinyl face. It's eight inches tall. And it's kind of like, you know, uh, in between a teddy bear and a, and a baby doll. It's kind of this fusion of things. All right. I have an idea, I but I'm not sure whether okay. I'm even close. I know, same. I went 45. I went 50. It's worth 50. <gasps> oh, right on. Oh, close. Oh, oh, man. All right. We're off and running. I think oh, we're on boy. fire. Nice. <laughs> all right. So now we have a chair sent in by Noreen. Hmm. So sticking with our mid-century modern theme Ooh. from the 1960s as well, this is a tufted naugahyde coral color um, in good condition armchair. So this would have been the chair for the office, or yeah. this would have been the chair for the den. Um, not yet man caves in this time period. <laughs> so 1960s, and it's coral, sort of uh, a little bit darker than my sweater. So it's a color that really it would make a room pop. I love the color of it because it really <laughs> makes a statement. And I'm afraid yes, I'm does. going too low. I'm, I'm going really high with this because I feel like I see all this. But I, I, I like the 99, five hundred dollars and ninety-nine cents. <laughs> okay. I went a little lower than that. I said two seventy-five. It's worth one hundred and fifty dollars. Oh wow! But it is really? Oh, that's a bargain. Yeah. I'd buy that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bargain. I feel all like right. people sell these antiques then for a lot of money on on other things. Yeah. Other sites. All right. All right. So, uh, and last we have an ice bucket sent in by Richard. So tell us about this because this looks like it is glass, right? So this is glass, not unlike the time period of the glass on my table. It's made by the Jeanette Glass Company, mm -hmm. and it's an ice bucket barware, very collectible then and now. Uh, from the 1950s, it has recipes on the side of it, so you start to learn how to make an old-fashioned or how to make a lemon drop. If we're selling it to people in this area, does it have a higher value here in Western Pennsylvania? They're going to know it better, right? Because yeah. they're going to know it better because, of course, of the location. The mm -hmm. problem really is there's more of it in your neck of the woods, so sometimes the value is a little bit lower. However. Once you have someone who connects with it, they might be willing to pay a higher price right. for it. But basically, when you look at the whole market, which is what I do when I evaluate all of these pieces from our viewers, I look everywhere online, you know, if it's sold in an antique shop, blah, 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 you know, I basically look everywhere. And then we make a determination of what the whole market is seeing for it. But that's a very good question because usually, yes, there are more in your area. Right. But also, people are more familiar with these pieces. Right. So, so maybe more, more. Yeah. Did you gotcha. see mine when I turned around and then change yours? No, I okay. did not see okay. yours. No. <laughs> You're already winning, anyways. I went 120. You're cheating? What are you doing? No, no, I'm not cheating. But I did change mine, uh, inspired by Mary. I went 55.99. Ooh. <laughs> Well, Mary gets this point. It's worth $125. Oh, yes, I was going to do 125 Oh, my goodness. Oh, you're so All right. close. All right. Perfect. All right. We always Very have good. fun with you, Dr. Lori. Thank you for spending time with us and educating us. Yeah, and thanks, everyone, for sending us your photos. And you can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. This was fun, Mary. I know. Thank thanks you. All right, we're going to be right back.